Right, so this is the boutique bouquet. This is the anemone set. Okay, so I'm going to use a combination of the design sheets, plain cardstock, inks, and everything else. So if I was going to cut these design sheets out, I would take the die, place it over the top, match up these little black dots on the top corners like so, tape it together and run it through my die cutting machine. Now they'll work on any die cutting machine, whether it be your Grand Calibre, your Sizzx, your Joy, whatever machine you've got, these will work on it. So once I've run that through the die cutting machine, I would then take the second die and match the dies up again, match all the black dots up and run it through the machine. Now that would give me five petals, a leaf, a base, a stamen and also the little scepters in the middle. So I've used one of the design sheets but the silver one, okay? So it's just got the little silver foiling in there absolutely beautifully. And I'm taking one of my ink pads and I'm now just going to colour it. Now because it's uncoated cardstock it takes the ink like an absolute dream. And I'm just inking around the edges just to give a bit of depth on the edge of the petals. So what you would do now is take your embossing tool and you would cup it. There we go. So we have one cupped petal. This is going to be my base. I'm going to cup that as well. Okay. And these two here are my stamens. So I'm going to turn those upside down and I'm just going to give the anthias a little bit of an emboss just to give them a little bit more depth and then I want to turn it over and I'm going to emboss it on that side there. Now these ones I've cut out of just plain black cardstock because I want a real impact in the middle. Okay so you'll see that this one is more like a sun and this one's got the long stamens on. What I like to do is use that one for the bottom and the little stamens on the top and I find that these keep these stamens up in the air. Okay, so let's glue that together so that's ready to go. So I'm just placing that in the middle there. So that is our little stamen. So I've cut out all my petals and I'm all ready to go. So I have got 15 petals in total here, all ready to go. So working with my base cup, I'm placing the glue on and I'm taking the petal to the centre and working my way round. Now, like I say, I do like to work opposites because I find I get a better spacing if I work opposites. So that one in there. And there. So that there is going to be the bottom of our flower. Okay, now with all the flowers that I make, I like to have both hands free. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick him to my mat so that I now have got both hands to work with. So taking the rest of these petals, we're going to place the glue on and we're going to counter stagger them over the top of the bottom layer so that we're working in those little spaces working our way around next two oops come back here So now I'm going to go in with the next layer. So once again, staggering. Next one going in. 
just in there. And then I'm going to take my little stamens and I'm going to glue those into the centre. Now before I shape it all, I've also cut out some of the little leaves from the design sheets. Now the way that I like to do these is I like to take an embossed line just up its bottom and then bring it down so you sort of vein in it on its back side because I don't want too much shape on my leaf okay now these are going to stick onto the back of the petals that's one in this is the next one going in now it's just a case of opening your flower up as much as you want it to be open okay let's bring that one up so you have the most beautiful little anemone flowers there but you can make them out of whatever color you want if you use the design set sheets the purple ones will give you those we've got pink ones we can do them in whatever color we want out of plain cardstock if you want to and just ink the edges you make them whatever color your little heart desires incorporate beads into the center of them they are absolutely gorgeous to work with 